Today, I will be showing you how to use your Android phone to control your Linux computer. Once done, you will be able to use your Android phone as a keyboard and mouse. You'll get your phone's notifications on your desktop. You'll be able to reply to messages directly from your computer. You can even send, and receive, files from your PC to your phone, and vice versa. The first thing we will need to do is install a program called, KDE Connect. If you are using Ubuntu, you will have to launch the software center, click the binoculars on the top right hand corner, type in the search bar KDE space, and the letter C. Download the following four programs that you see on the screen. For me, since I use Ubuntu Mate, I will be going to System, Administration, and Software Boutique. From the Software Boutique you'll click on System Tools, and scroll down until you see KDE Connect. Click on Install, click on Bulk Queue. Click Apply Changes, enter your password, if needed. Let the install run, and then click on Finished. Now, from your phone, you are going to click on the Google Play Store. Tap the search bar and type in KDE Connect. Click on this program, install it. Back on your computer, you will have two KDE Connect options. One of them is just the settings, and the other is the program we want. Click on it. If a window pops up you can exit out of it. The only thing we are looking for is the little grayed out cell phone icon on your top notification panel. With that gray cell phone icon in place, we are going to go back to the phone and launch the KDE Connect app. In the app, you'll see the username, followed by the at sign, and the name of your PC. Click on your PC's name, and select request pairing. Quickly, take a look at the top right hand corner of your computer. It will ask you, do you want to accept the connection with your phone? Click on accept. Now your devices are paired. Go back to your phone, launch the KDE Connect app, scroll all the way down, and give the app all the needed permissions. Click on the first option, in the pop-up click OK. Then click on Allow. If you get a pop-up like this, click on Open Settings, locate the KDE Connect option and turn it on. Do this for all other options that require permission. Keep doing this over, and over again, until you've given KDE Connect all the permissions it needs. When done, you will be greeted with this screen. From here you can click on Remote Input. In Remote Input you can use your phone as a mouse pad to control your PC. If you click on the keyboard sign, on the upper right hand corner, you can use the on-screen keyboard for typing or playing some video games. There are many other features to KDE Connect. From the app you can send files, play a sideshow, and control the media on your PC. To send a file, go to your file manager, hold down the file you wish to send, and click Share. Then choose KDE Connect, and click on the name of your computer. The file will be sent directly, without any pop-ups or notifications, to your PC's download folder. If you want to send files, from your PC to your phone, just click on the drop-down menu and select Send Files, and choose the files you want to send. The Sideshow and Multimedia controls work in the same way. Play media on the PC and control it from your phone. 